This is cycle one, week 19, great composers. We are going to introduce the orchestra and we are going to learn about Viva Dalvi this week. First off, we're going to introduce two types of styles of music. This cycle, we are working on Baroque music and classical music. And I have some notes for you about the differences of them. So when you are listening to the music pieces with your class, try and pick up on some of those and try to reference them. We have three Baroque artists and two classical artists. The Baroque style is going to have one mood to the entire piece. It's going to sound very repetitive. Um, they have a very big string section, so if you have older kids, you can ask them what what are some of the string instruments. And um, they have energetic rhythms, but that rhythm is still going to be that you know same drill, but it might be up and down. So listen to those in the Baroque. In the classical style, we have two artists that we are going to work on. This classical is going to be less complicated than Baroque. Um, it's going to really focus on beauty and elegance and balance. So it's going to sound very harmonious and very beautiful. You can use some of those tin whistle vocabulary words. And um, But it is going to have a little bit more variety with different instruments, different pitch, tempo, key, again, all of those tin whistle words that we use. And um, the orchestra is going to increase in size. That's going to be a big difference in the classical style. So listen for that when you're um, in weeks 22 and 23, that it's probably going to sound bigger. There's going to be more music going. And um, there were different, it says like the importance was given to instrumental music. So there were duets and there were trios and there were quartets. So there were different things that were getting pulled out. It wasn't everyone playing the whole entire time for the whole symphony. Um, so we are going to do two extra artists for um, our um, community. And we will be doing the orchestra song during opening ceremony time opening assembly time um, just to maximize and we can learn about more artists and more um, musicians during the classical and baroque period so number um, our first um, composer that we're going to learn about this week is Antonio Vivaldi and we um, I found someone on YouTube and it's called Five Minute Mozart. The exact link is on your script, but um, I also, if you just go to Five Minute Mozart and then on his page and Google him, you'll find um, the link. And so it's two, it's two minutes. It's a very quick composition and it's for every single composer that we have. So it's very nice. Um, but we, I still have my three facts. Um, and I will just go through them quickly. Um, he entered the priesthood and was nicknamed the Red Peace because of his red hair. He was Italian and he was one of the greatest Baroque composers who also influenced Bach. And we will do Bach in week 21. So that's kind of cool that he influenced Bach, who most kids are probably gonna know. And he wrote most of his operas about 40 for an all-female audience, which is just kind of a cool fact. If you ask your kids, you know, if you were writing for just males or just females or teenagers or adults, it might just vary what you do. And so when you listen to it, you can kind of think that these are probably written for um, all women or girl, female audiences. Um, so we are going to make instruments for the five weeks to let the kids kind of play along and um, just engage in this a little bit more than just listening. Uh, this week we're going to do a kettle drum. Kettle drums were used in the Baroque period, so that's why we are going to use them. You will need some sort of wide tape, um, maybe like a duct tape or a masking tape. I'm not sure what we're going to get from 
are moms, but those kinds of things. Um, some permanent markers, which we will need permanent ones, not just washables. And, and then one, this shows two, but one flower pot per student. And so what we're gonna do, it's a very simple project. Um, the masking tape or duct tape is just gonna get cut. Um, I think we're probably gonna use masking tape. I think that'll actually be easier. Uh, it's just gonna get ripped. It doesn't even have to get cut, just ripped. And they, they're, each kid's gonna need six pieces. So the first piece is gonna go here, second piece here, third piece there, and it's gonna cover the whole thing, just like that. And the bottom, it just gets wrapped underneath. It doesn't have to be exact. I mean, you can see this one kind of went over, but it just breaks off, so it doesn't really matter. And then kids just get to decorate it. So Jeremiah did his with a American flag and then there's a scribble on the side. So this is why we need permanent markers. If you have littles, just be aware of it. Um, maybe don't give them a bunch, just give them one at a time or something. But I think permanent markers were gonna be a lot better than nothing at all. Um, so this is all it is. And so we're gonna play the, it's called Four Seasons is what he, um, be the Dalby compose that we're gonna listen to. I have a link to the short version, one of the short versions. It is um, four seasons, so it literally goes through spring, summer, winter, and fall. And this one kind of takes a chunk out of each season, which is really cool. So as it plays through, the actual picture on the YouTube for the video for you guys, it will show you when the seasons change. But you can also ask the kids or pause it. Hey, did you notice a change in that music and those kinds of things? Because it will have a different tempo um, for different seasons. And so the kids can play. So I'd say listen the first time, try and listen a little bit quieter and just see and don't maybe say as much as their hands are making the instruments. And then the second time, play it and then their hands can play with it again not loudly or maybe they can repeat it if it's getting too loud and you can't have it louder than the kids um, but if it's a fast tempo let them play fast if it's a small slower tempo let them play slower so this is an example of what a kettle drum would actually look like um, so you can show your kids that and then this is just an example of what we are going to do this is a picture of Antonio Viva Dalby just if the kids want to see it Nothing special, just him. And that should be it.